Hi, I'm Rich Breckner from Inside HPC. I'm here today at the Virident booth and I'm talking to Vijay Karamchetti, which is the Italian pronunciation. <laughs> because he's Italian, no. <laughs> <laughs> and you are CTO, is that correct? I'm CTO. Of Virident? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Rich. Um, I understand you had some announcements this week. Well, what did you announce? So in fact, we made three announcements this week um, in no particular order. The first one, we announced a closing of our financing round. This is our Series B. Um, and the second one, we announced a partner relationship. And the third, we announced a, a larger capacity product, further establishing our position as you know the number one uh, PCI Express SSD manufacturer. So that's who we are. Can you tell me more about that, that first announcement? The first announcement, we announced the closing of our Series B. It was led by Sequoia Capital, uh, and uh, we also had participation from Globespan, uh, which is another venture firm in the Bay Area. And uh, our existing investors also continued, kind of showing their support in, you know, in the company and the direction it's taking. So we're very happy with that. So the second announcement was announcing a partner relationship with Sumisho Computer Systems. Uh, a reseller in Japan, uh, fairly good reach globally among the high performance computing community in Japan. And then the third one, and which probably this community cares a fair bit about, is uh, what we have here is a PCI Express SSD. It is a low profile, low profile form factor SSD, plugs into a standard PCI Express slot. And what we announced this week was its availability in 800 gigabyte capacity for, uh, form. This is the largest capacity, low profile form factor PCI SSD that's available out there. In fact, it may well be the largest capacity SSD irrespective of form factor today. Uh, so, what is a PCI SSD? It is essentially built using NAND flash. It's a very high performance IO storage device um, suited to the needs of you know, IO intensive applications such as databases, metadata caching, and, and others. Our SSDs are built out of a type of flash called SLC NAND flash, which is the highest performance and the most reliable flash out there. And we are happy that you know we're able to kind of push the envelope. Okay. Now we're in the uh, disruptive technology section of the SC10 exhibition. Mm -hmm. what, what's disruptive about this? So, so w our belief is that these non-volatile memory-based storage devices are fundamentally going to re change the the way servers get architected. So, so today, a typical server has you know, fast CPUs, some amount of DRAM, and then large capacity, but you know, slow disks. And really, there's this huge gap in the middle between DRAMs that are fast, but low capacity, and disks that are large capacity, but slow. And as a consequence, despite improvements in CPU speeds and number of cores and all the fun stuff, one finds you know, application performance not improving at the same rate because I.O. is not keeping up. So non-volatile memory devices in various forms have the capability of bridging this gap. And what I expect is that in the next few years, pretty much every server platform out there is going to have this kind of technology be present in some form or the other. Now, there's a big gap between you know, the unique capabilities at the device level, which yeah. what a flash device brings, and what you can deliver at the system level. And really, that is the gap that Veridant as a company is bridging. Okay, and what kind of applications would really benefit the most, you think, from this kind of thing? So, so this device is targeted primarily to I.O. intensive applications, applications that tend to essentially end up waiting for I.O. to complete most of the time. Um, so the applications are databases, caching, metadata serving, any application that needs to do a fair amount of read and write at the same time, uh, ad hoc analytics, graph-based algorithms for this community that's particularly of interest. So there's a large number of applications, and increasingly, I think even what were traditionally considered, you know, flops-intensive applications, have an increasingly larger I/O component to them, and that's really th those are the applications that we're kind of going after. Now, now, do I have to rewrite my code to take advantage of this? Or no, no, because this device presents itself like a traditional block device, and it, you can put your traditional file systems on it. Uh, so getting started is very, very easy. However, as is usually the case, when you remove the first bottleneck, you know, there are other bottlenecks that are behind. So I expect that in time, people will become more aware of how they write, you know, their applications to derive the most benefit from this class of devices. But we have examples where this device was inserted and people immediately saw 3, 4x in terms of application perceived behavior. So there's a large class of applications out there. 
largely driven in part by you know the shift towards multi-core and multi-threaded applications that has been happening over the last few years that are able to see benefit from this device without big code rewrites and, and we are happy to see that so if someone's out there interested they got their ears perked up how do they learn more www.viridin.com has all the information that you'll ever want you know. all right. and are you shipping this by the way is we it we are we have been shipping this product since late june and uh, i think the 800 gigabyte card is available with a few weeks kind of notice at this excellent. point excellent all right thank you and uh that's it for the rich report tune in next time for more news and information on high performance computing